Hadith Musnad Imam Ahmad. The Prophet said, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ تَوَكَّلَ لِي بِالشَّامِ وَأَهْلِهِ Verily, Allah Almighty has entrusted me with Ash Sham, that is, Palestine, Jordan, Lebanon, and Syria, and its people. Some believe that the Hadith is related to the prophecy mentioned in the Torah, where God promises Abraham that his descendants will inherit the land from the river of Nile to the river of Euphrates, Genesis 15.18. After all, the majority of its inhabitants are Muslims. How is this argument explained? Thank you for your question. The hadith you mentioned is reported by Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal in his Musnad, a collection of hadiths attributed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his companions. The hadith is narrated by Ali ibn Abi Talib, the cousin and son-in-law of the Prophet, and one of the four rightly guided caliphs of Islam. Ash-Sham is a historical region that covers the modern-day countries of Palestine, Jordan, Lebanon, and Syria. It is also known as the Levant or the Fertile Crescent. Ash-Sham has a special significance in Islam, as it is the land where many prophets and messengers of Allah lived and preached, such as Abraham, Moses, David, Solomon, Jesus, and others. It is also the land where the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ascended to the heavens during his miraculous night journey. Some Muslims believe that this hadith is related to the prophecy mentioned in the Torah, where Allah promises Abraham that his descendants will inherit the land from the river of Nile to the river of Euphrates. This prophecy is found in Genesis 15:18, which reads, On that day the Lord made a covenant with Abram and said, to your descendants, I give this land, from the Wadi of Egypt to the great river, the Euphrates. The argument for this connection is based on the following points. The descendants of Abraham include both the Israelites through his son Isaac and the Arabs through his son Ishmael. Therefore, both groups have a claim to the land promised by Allah. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a descendant of Ishmael, and he is also the final prophet and messenger of Allah to all mankind. Therefore, he has a special status and authority over the land promised by Allah. The Hadith shows that Allah has entrusted the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, with Ash-Sham and its people, which implies that he has a responsibility and a right to protect and guide them according to Allah's will. The Hadith also implies that Ash-Sham and its people have a special relationship with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and that they should follow his teachings and example as the best way to please Allah. In conclusion, while some might view the hadith in question as having parallels with the biblical prophecy, it's essential to approach such interpretations with caution, respect for diverse viewpoints, and an emphasis on peace and coexistence.